Happy 2018, everyone. I'm jumping ahead in the vlog chronology to now to let you know what I'm up to and specifically what I'm doing after my PhD. But don't worry, there are three or four vlogs yet to come soon, like filling the gap. So what am I doing after my PhD? Well, I'm choosing to become a science communicator. You probably have some questions. Why? There are plenty of jobs for science PhD grads like me, and in fact, that's probably a whole video that I'll do in the future, but I'm not interested in becoming rich, doing work for some soulless company in the city. Like, I'm just not interested in that corporate life. There are opportunities in research, but uh, the experience of my PhD taught me that academia, as I experienced it, wasn't really for me. I'm not ruling out going back to academia in the future, but right now I don't want to do a postdoc. And there are scientific jobs which would use skills that I learned in my PhD and would be interesting and would earn good money, and they're my second choice. Because I might return to that in the future, but right now I'm in a unique position. I currently earn nearly enough money from YouTube to do it for a job. I have a big, engaged audience, I have loads of contacts in the YouTube ecosystem, but most importantly, I love making videos and educating people. So perhaps this isn't the most profitable or easiest or even the most sensible career to try and embark on, but the alternative, if I weren't to try, I think I'd spend the rest of my life wondering what could have been. So I'm going to take a calculated leap into the unknown and see if I can make this work whilst I still can. Doing what? In my definition, being a science communicator has a few aspects to it. One, making videos. The main one for me. In the past, I've tried to communicate scientific or study content to you as an audience to varying degrees of success. Basically, me being a science communicator will mean me trying to do that a lot more. Though that's not to say that this channel is now going to suddenly become nothing but generic science videos. This channel took off and became what it is now because of two series. One, where I vlogged about being an Oxford student, and two, where I vlogged about being a PhD student. I get that a lot of you subscribed because you like the way I vlog. Well, lucky for you, I really like vlogging, so I'm always going to make short films about my life and what I'm up to. It's just that now, instead of being about studying or about uni, they're going to be about me trying to make it as a science communicator and interesting places I go and interesting things I end up doing. There's actually some really interesting things already lined up for this year. But I'll come back to what this change means for the channel in just a little bit. Two, writing. For almost all of you, this will come out of completely nowhere because I'm not known as an author of any kind. But before I went to uni, one of my key ambitions was to become an author, and at that time I meant somebody who wrote fiction. And I'm still interested in that idea, but the process of writing my thesis for my PhD made me realise that I actually really like writing about science, and in particular I like writing the background chapter that was more intended for a general audience. So I'm interested in exploring ideas that aren't quite right for a video in written form, maybe a blog post or maybe even ideas that are too big for a video and would be better suited to being a book. But again, more on that in just a little bit. Three, presenting. This might be doing presenting for other YouTube channels or for TV networks, which I've already done, or possibly doing presenting out there in the magical land of not the internet, which is something that I really like doing in school. I love doing public speaking. But this isn't something which is going to affect this YouTube channel, so I'll move on. To number four, streaming, possibly. Maybe. Got an idea. We'll see if we'll see if this happens. This is likely a plan that will look completely different in a year, as it turns out that either I can't do everything that I said I'd like to do, or because one part of it takes up all my time and I don't have as diverse a portfolio as I currently imagine that I will. But so early in my career, I can't help but think that having multiple irons in the fire is a good idea, and to see if I can have an interesting job where I balance lots of different roles. Again, this is a complete leap into the unknown for me. I've been in education for 22 years, and so I feel a little bit institutionalized, so I, I don't really know what to expect. So I've probably overthought this, but in my mind, it's better to overthink something rather than underthink something when it literally determines whether or not you can afford to eat. Speaking of which, how? <laughs> I'm aiming to release two videos every week on this channel, one of which will be a vlog, and the other will be what I think of as a feature video. 
Examples of feature videos include my video about the planets in Star Wars, Crash Course Cryosphere, my book review series, and about a million other much, much more ambitious ideas that I've not had the time to make. Until now. If you watch my video about the planets in Star Wars, then you might recall that it was sponsored. And in the future, some, but by no means all, of my videos will contain sponsor messages. It's not going to be every video. In fact, I'm only thinking of doing one or two sponsor videos a month. But in order for me to afford to eat and to do this as a career, they're going to be a regular feature on this channel in the future. I want to be clear that I am not going to be selling this channel out to absolutely anybody. If I choose to work with a sponsor, it's because I think they're the right match for the content that appears on this channel and for you guys that watch my videos, as well as it being a good product. So the income from those sponsor videos and the adverts which Google places on my other videos, it's what's going to keep me afloat. But in addition to those two, I'm also going to be overhauling and expanding my Patreon. For those of you who don't already know, Patreon is a service where audiences can invest in their favourite content creators, where they pledge typically a small amount, like one or two dollars a month, such that their creators can continue to make stuff. And then in exchange, the creators can offer perks to those members of their audience who support them beyond a certain threshold. Currently, my Patreon is a very simple affair, where people who donate more than $5 a month get a thank you note in the description of every video, and people who donate more than $3 each month get access to my Patreon feed, where I said I will be posting exclusive content every month. However, for most of the months in 2017, that didn't happen apart from a monthly summary of everything I've been up to. And that's basically because I was just too busy to make something new for just for Patreon, with everything else that I was doing, like, oh, I don't know, my PhD. So right now, I'm actually not sure what I should be offering as perks on my Patreon. If you have a suggestion of something that you think it'd be worthwhile you donating your money in exchange for, then please put them down in the comments below. It's only worthwhile running a Patreon if I can offer you guys something that you think is actually worth you parting with your hard-earned money. I'm not just going to do this to pump money from my audience. It's only worthwhile if it's a two-way interaction. And so the only way to make sure that that happens is a two-way conversation. I want to hear what you guys would like from a Patreon. So please put your ideas down in the comments. Next, moving on to content which definitely isn't worth anybody's money. The Wikicast, the podcast which Dan and I run every week about random Wikipedia articles, will be returning in 2018. And hopefully we'll actually be doing some merch for that sometime soon. Keep, keep your eyes peeled if you're interested. And in addition, our shared silly YouTube channel, Spongy and Electric, will be seeing more content in 2018, including uh, a much a long-awaited return to Kerbal Space Program, more movie reviews, more gaming stuff, and generally just kind of silly content. At the moment, I view it as a fun side project, but I'm including it in this video because, you know, eventually it might get good enough to actually generate revenue. But for now, it's... It's just fun. And then, lastly, something completely new. As I mentioned earlier, I want to develop my writing and start exploring ideas that aren't quite right for videos. So, sometime this year, very soon, hopefully, I'm going to be launching a website which is a hub for everything I do. So, this YouTube channel, Spongy and Electric, my research work, Oxbridge Access work, the Wikicast, and as part of that website, there's going to be a blog, which is going to be vaguely about science, about history, about maths, about music, and the intersections between them. Now, I refuse to say how regularly I'm going to upload on that. Do you upload a blog? You probably yeah, you publish a blog. Sorry, I'm completely new to this. But I'm hoping to put out several posts a month. If I could get to weekly, that would be great, but that that's a pipe dream. I am really quite excited about the blog, though, and trying to mix it in with everything else that I do. Question is, when? Now? I've handed in my PhD thesis, which means that I can now concentrate fully, for the first time in my life, on making interesting content. I do still have to sit my Viva, which is an oral exam where I defend my research, which takes place in February, but apart from that small, tiny, insignificant, I mean it's so small I'm barely even thinking about it, it's not continuing my life at all thing, this is my job. Which means you guys are my bosses now. I am only able to consider doing this as a job because you guys like watching and listening to and hopefully soon reading the stuff that I make. And I want to be clear that I am fully aware of that. So when I say you guys are my bosses, I, I really mean it. I have a simple rule when it comes to making content, and that's that it has to make the universe better in some way. Now. 
I get why other people are content making just generic, banal content that is literally designed to waste people's time and to push low quality merch. But that's, that's not what I'm about. That's not what I'm interested in doing because I'm in a really privileged position, not just to do this as a career. I'm in a really privileged position to make a difference in the world. The single most important thing a person can do for the world is to educate others to make them interested in it in a way that they weren't before and to encourage them to learn themselves. Because the most dangerous thing in the world is ignorance. Ignorance leads to hatred and it leads to decisions which are later regretted. I am in a privileged position right now to make the world a little bit better. And my work goal for 2018 is to make the most of that position and hopefully do it well enough that I can earn a living doing it and I'd be honoured if I could have you guys along for the journey. If you want to support me in this work, then please subscribe to this YouTube channel and consider supporting me on Patreon. And thank you so much to everyone who's already done so. If you'd like to help even further, then the best thing you can do is to share my videos, particularly the educational ones, when they come out on social media. Yes, I do have a pretty moderate number of subscribers now, but my videos only get sent to so many people. If you post to Twitter or to Reddit, that really helps get the message out there. Okay, that got very heavy at the end there. Sorry about that. I mean, well, I don't apologize because I really do believe all of this stuff. Um, but thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the vision for where I'm taking this channel and my kind of, I guess my philosophy about making videos, then do please drop a like on this video. Comment below with your suggestions for what perks I could offer on my Patreon. And thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one very soon.